Hi, it's Deanna here today. Let's put some hoods on. All right, I know that putting hoods together sometimes can be a little bit scary because there's a couple different ways that you can do this. And so I'm gonna show you two different ways and to show you how easy it really is to put them on no matter which way um, the hood is supposed to be put on. It's sometimes almost easier than a neckband. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hood together because that's the first thing you need to do. Now, there's a couple of options of hoods. There is the hood that comes already attached at the front, um, but, and then there's the option that comes in two pieces. But no matter what, you always have to put that crown together unless it's a big piece of the hood. So um, we're gonna put that crown together at the top to prep our hood. Now, some hoods come with liners. So if you are going to line your hood, you need to go ahead and do this to both the liner and the outer. And then some hoods too, um, when they're gonna be attached on, will use a band. So if they use a band, they're a little bit different too. But today we're just talking about actually putting it on. So we don't wanna uh, get confused about what we're doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip all the way around the outer crown of the hood. As you can see, this is the back part and this is the front part where my face is. This is the neckline where it's gonna be attached to the hood, to, to the neck. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew around the crown and come back and I'll show you how we're going to attach it. All right, so here's my hood outer and liner, and I decided to make my liner, um, this be the right side, the wrong side be the right side because I want this fluffiness to be touching my face because it's so nice and fluffy. So this is the right side, and we're gonna put them into each other, right sides together. Now, some might go a different way depending on if you're banding or not, but I'm just gonna, I'm just putting this one together real quick. Um, and then I'm gonna show you, just to show you how we actually attach it. But we're gonna sew the outer edges together, the crown. Right sides together. All right, we flip that hood right side out. And you see now I've got that, fle that uh, fleecy stuff on the inside, so it'll be really nice and comfy. Now if you want to, you can go ahead and top stitch the outer line. If I have a contrasting color and I want it to kind of poke out, like when I'm doing a children's uh, hoodie or and I have lines or something like that, sometimes I like to fold it this way and put my hem out, my, my um, sorry, my seam out towards the, towards the inside and top stitch it down this way so that you can see like that outer edge. I don't think I really want to do that on this one. I think it'll be, um, it'd be better if I just do it like regular, which is my inseam kind of in the middle. Um, and I'm going to top stitch all the way around the face. Once I top stitch it around the face, now we're actually gonna talk about how to actually put it on. Now, there's, like I said, a couple different ways to put hoods on, and this one is the overlapping way. So we can overlap a hood, hood sides to create that like cross, crisscross effect in the front. Now, different patterns will call for different amount of overlap. I am doing, this is a Tuesday hoodie. This one calls for a one inch overlap but I know some other ones call for like a four inch overlap or whatever it is. So I'm gonna show you what you do. You grab your ruler, and since this one is only a one inch overlap, see how the one inch is right there? You can mark where your one inch is if you want. I don't usually you know, do that. You might want to if you're making like a four inch overlap, mark where your, here's my one inch. If I was doing a four inch overlap, I would mark my four inch right here, let me put a pin of a different color. So if we're doing a one inch overlap, we're gonna put this overlap right at that inch. So there is a one inch from here to the start, that's my one inch overlap. If I'm doing a four inch overlap, I would put my hood start right there at the four inch mark, and that's a four inch overlap, okay? So we're not doing that, we're just doing the one inch overlap. Now your pattern will have that information right on it. So then what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and pin it right here and I'm going to stitch, make a uh, probably a long straight stitch right here, a basting stitch, and then it becomes basically a neckline. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch around it and baste it there and then we'll come back to show you exactly how we're gonna put it on. So I'm just going right here at the neckline and I'm doing just a long straight stitch to baste that neckline together right there. That's all we're doing right there. So that way it doesn't come apart when I'm gonna go attach it. Now let's put together the other version of the hood. You see this one comes complete already sewn at the front. So instead of, once we put it together, instead of having to baste that front, it's already there. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and just show you how to put this one together. And then once we attach it, they, go, they both get attached the same way. Um, so again, we're gonna sew up the crown just like we did with the other one. We sew up that crown area right sides together for both the liner and the outer. And then we're going to sew up around the face as well, but it's a little bit different because it's already closed up at the bottom. Um, so let me go ahead and sew this up and then we'll sew up the face. Ooh, that sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? And you'll see how easy it really is to put hoods on. Once again, we turn one right side out and we keep one wrong side out and we'll fit one inside the other. As you can see now, because we have that covering right there, when we sew up this outer, when we sew them together, see right here, we match up the top <clears throat> seam right here, the crown. And when we sew them together, instead of going, uh, start at one point and going all the way and ending, you're gonna just sew like a circle. You're gonna sew a whole full circle because you're sewing this gap close. You're sewing these two together to create that face hole. Face hole. And it should fit this um, exactly. It should not, you know, should not have to stretch or anything because you cut it out of the same pattern piece. So it should just fit right in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and sew that up right sides together. All right, so now we turn our hood right side out. Okay, we tuck the liner right inside and as you can see here's our formed hood okay literally you could put a cowl on this and you can have your own just little hood thing helmet thing I wonder what that looked like I'm sure that looked great and I'm sure my hair looks awesome right now but uh, now attaching the hoods will be the same way this, both of them will get attached the same way because now they both just have that, that opening right there and that opening right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna quarter it. We're gonna go from that back point, right here where our seams meet in the back, all the way to the front. Now on our hood, I'll show you on our other hood in a minute, the front was already marked by where we overlapped. So then we're gonna mark the front and the back and we're gonna go to the sides. And those are our quarters, okay? And we're gonna do the same for the other one. See, this is the back right here where my seam is in the back. Here's my front already where we overlapped. That's my front right there. And then we're gonna get our sides. Now, remember, um, you want to make sure that you catch both layers, your, your hood liner and your hood outer when you're gonna sew them together. Because if you don't, then you'll have a gap. You don't want a gap. Now, if you were doing, if you were going to do grommets or whatever, you would do them to the outside layer. You wouldn't do them to both layers. You would do them to the outside layer. That way the inside is not affected by it and you don't have any wind coming through or anything like that. You would do it on the outside. If you were gonna do a drawstring, then you would have to create a channel right here, um, which if you wanted to add a drawstring, you, I would create a, um, a top stitch channel right here where I could fit my drawstring through and bring it back out through my grommets. So you could do that if you wanted to. I know a couple people have asked me that before. And then we're gonna go ahead and quarter our tops, our necklines, and again, how we quarter that is the same way that we quartered our hood, but we're gonna grab our shoulders and go to the back and mark. It's kind of like the same way that we mark it when we're putting a neckband on. And because basically now we're just putting a neckband on. Shoulders front, and then front and back to one side. Front and back to the other side. 
And that's how you quarter it. I'm gonna do the same for the other sweater, hoodie. And then I'm gonna grab my hoodie, my hood, and what I like to do actually, I like to turn my hoodie inside out because I like to fit my hood inside of there and uh, attach it. Okay, so the lower neckline is the front, so we're gonna fit that hood in there and mark where my front was right here in that. Then my two sides match those up, my quarter points, my back. I'm so excited about this hoodie, you all don't even know. Okay, and then it gets sewn on exactly like a neckband. We're gonna do the same for the other one. All right, now let's go sew it. I like to always start in the back when I'm sewing my neckline slash hood and make sure that all my lines are lined up. Get it right under that foot and then stretch out your neckband to fit. Obviously make sure you remove that pin when you get here to that place where you had that pin mark. Your neckband right here should be nice because you basted it so it shouldn't move on you when you're sewing. So that's the reason why you base that together. Make it a lot easier than trying to sew without being basted. And like I said, we sew the other one just the exact same way. I know you all have been dying to hear about what patterns these are. This is the oversized tee. I'm going to add a band or drawstring. I'm not really sure what I want to do to the bottom yet. I made it a crop top because I think it'll be look super cute with high-waisted bottoms. Um, it, but I still don't know if I want to do the drawstring or if I want to do the banded. So comment below and let me know what you think I should do. Um, but this is the one hood. I love that it's complete right here and it goes straight it gives it a really cute look um, and I made this one with this honeycomb athletic fabric it's super super cute um, this flat fabric actually came from Olga's closet and then this one right here which I am super excited about I got this fleece lined French terry a while ago by mistake I didn't know it was fleece lined and I thought I'm never gonna use it and then here's winter time and I'm freezing and I'm just super excited to be able to have this really, really comfy hoodie. Now, all I've got left to do is obviously remove this basting stitch, not need it anymore, so I'll use a little, um, what do you call it, a little seam ripper and take that basting stitch off and our hood is completed. This is the Tuesday hoodie. How cute is this? I love the oversized kind of feel on it. This is a straight fit, I love it. Um, and I know you're gonna ask me where I got my fleece line fabric from, but I really cannot remember where I got it from. All I know is that I am going to wear this hoodie every day. And that's how simple it is to put a hood on. Oh, I know, I know, you wanna know what I'm wearing. I am wearing the book club top. Uh, pattern super super cute also French Terry French Terry and this is a um, Sweater knit. I am obsessed with French Terry. Thank you very much. Yes, I am What is your favorite fabric to sew with? I love it I just love how all the different varieties of French Terry give me all the French Terry But anyway, I can't wait to put this on with the fuzzy inside. I love it. I hope you had a great day. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Please let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did. Do not be afraid to put a hood on on that uh, t-shirt or whatever it is that you want to put a hood on hoodie. <laughs> um, it is super easy and super uh, manageable to do. Uh, please comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Oops, that was Bo over there. Subscribe if you haven't so you never miss any of our videos. Come like us on Facebook and Instagram so that you can see what everyone is um, making and you can be inspired by their makes and you can also inspire others with your makes. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. I'm gonna go cozy on up with my hoodies. Bye.